Hi everyone. Welcome to another Charlie's Angel review today. And I believe it's Charlie's Angels review number five of the series I do here on Charlie's Angels uh, TV series. And today we're going to be reviewing season four, episode two, or if you want to be technical, it's actually uh, episode three because there was a two-parter episode uh, to start season four to introduce Shelly Hat who took over for Kate Jackson after season three. So today is uh, Angels Go Trucking. And uh, before I start the Charlie's Angels today, I do want to give a quick uh, shout out uh, to all the events that happened today uh, on 2001 for 9-11. I basically want to give a moment of silence for all the victims we lost, both in the airplanes that crashed, uh, the one in Pennsylvania, uh, the one at the Pentagon, and the one, or the two, that uh, slammed into the uh, Twin Towers there in New York City. So to all the first responder victims, to their families, to all the victims on the airplanes and their families, and to all the victims that were on the ground and to their families. Let's all take a moment of silence. We're going to do this for one minute and we'll get restarted, okay? So for one minute, let's do a moment of silence for everyone here that lost their lives on 9-11. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate the uh, uh, the endorsement and uh, of my channel as well. Uh, and also, thank you for that moment of the silence. I hope that all of you were able to... Uh, reflect on the day and uh, for you know a few seconds there for a minute. So thank you everyone for allowing me to do that here on YouTube. Okay. Uh, right, let's get started with the review here. Uh, as we said, this was from season four. Now this is when Shelly Hack started the series uh, in place of Kate Jackson, who had done it for uh, the first three seasons and then she walked away because she had other commitments and uh, well, I think, they, I think that some people realized that when Kate left, well, first of all, they realized that when Farrah Fawcett left after the first season, I think that they lost, maybe lost a lot, they thought they lost a lot of fans. But Cheryl Ladd, I think, filled that void pretty well. And Jacqueline Smith was just coming into her own. So she was, she was uh, helping to uh, improve the series. And actually, it was in the top ten a lot after Farrah left. So... In a way, she got the ball rolling, and then the girls stepped up their game, and everything went well. So 
in season four, after Kate Jackson had left, Shelly Hack took over to her role. And so for one season, they had uh, Cheryl Ladd, Jacqueline Smith, Shelly Hack, and then, uh, of course, David Doyle still playing Bosley. And John Forsythe, of course, still doing the voice of Charlie. So uh, that's how it went for that one season. Then the fifth season, Tanya Roberts came in. Shelly left. And then it was Tanya, uh, Cheryl, and uh, Jacqueline as Kelly Yarrow. So, yeah. So, and that's, and that's how that ended. And then, of course, at the end of season five, uh, when I'm done going through all the episodes here, I'll do the final episode uh, where Kelly's in a coma. And I don't want to say much more about that because I'll tell you about that briefly when I get to that last episode. But, uh, yeah. But that was very interesting. Oh, thank you, my lover. There we go. Yeah, my beautiful lover got me some, uh, some wonderful stuff here. Yeah. Just let it uh, kind of uh, cool down a little bit. Then I'll have some lunch after I get this done. <laughs> okay. So when angels go trucking, the basic plot is that uh, a lady by the name of Maggie Brill, who's played by Joanne Linville, and you might recognize her name, but I'll uh, get to that in a moment. What she does is she calls Charlie and says, Hey, Charlie, I just had a load stolen. It's worth about $500,000. And you find out who's doing it, who's up to it, and why. So the angels are called in and uh, given undercover jobs to see what's happening and see what's going on. And, of course, in this episode, I think it's kind of cute uh, that Shelly Hack's character and Cheryl's character, Chris, are sent to trucking school to learn how to rock, to drive trucks. The big rigs, you know, the 18 wheelers. <laughs> and that's an escapade of, of its own. But uh, you know, let me tell you something that they were only given the rudimentary basics of how to drive these big rigs. Believe me, the trucking school takes a lot longer than that. It doesn't take a week. Uh, and in most in most cases, it's usually about a anywhere from three to six months, depending on how much information you have to learn, and the driving rules for a big rig like that or any kind of truck is a lot different than a regular car uh, or bus or, or you know or even um, RVs or things like that. So there are different things that you have to know um, if you're going to plan on driving those big rig trucks or the 18 wheelers or whatever um so yeah when you watch the episode don't think it's only going to take you a week to learn there's a lot more than that okay this was just you know we're talking just a tv episode and you know and it's not based on some reality so you know but some of the rudimentary basics are featured and those are part of it but not the whole thing of it so just remember that. Uh, anyway, let's get to the, the uh, two main stars that I recognize from the show. One of them, as I said, was Joanne Linville. Now, if you remember her, she played a Romulan commander in the Enterprise incident. Uh, she has done other things, but uh, uh, she does stand out because she was in makeup. And, of course, that episode was where, oh, thank you, my lover. Uh, that episode is where they have, there we go, uh, <laughs> that episode, of course, is where uh, Kirk and Spock uh, somehow infiltrate their ship and steal the, uh, the Romulan cloaking device, which is important to not only the Federation, but to uh, level the playing field so that if the Romulans were going to try to, you know, try to invade Earth or conquer it or do whatever and had these cloaking devices in their ships, you know, they might have an easier time. But since the Enterprise was on a secret mission to get it, they got the cloaking device. So Joanne Linville played the female Romulan commander in that. She had done a lot of other stuff too. Unfortunately, we lost her in 2021. So, uh, yeah, that was... Uh, 
yeah, two years ago. So that was unfortunate. But she was a wonderful actress, did a lot of uh, great TV series, like I said, Star Trek and so forth. So uh, Joanne Linville, and she played the role of Maggie Brill in this episode, Angels Go Trucking. And she looks pretty cool. I mean, you know, without the makeup on, I mean, you wouldn't know. But then if you saw how she acts so well, and then you go to see the episode, you know, way back there in Star Trek, you, you know, yeah, you'll recognize her right away. Hi, Lemon Pie. Lemon Pie says, hi, Mikey and Susie. Hi, Lemon Pie. It's good to see you, my friend. All righty. Uh, let's see. The next one we got then is... Royce D. Applegate. Now, he played Bingo, uh, a trucker, uh, in this episode. And Royce, I recognized him. He died. Now, he passed away in 2003, I'm sorry to say. Uh, but in the... Uh, you guys remember the television series Sequest, right? Okay, Sequest DSV. The first season, he played Chief Petty Officer Manilu Crocker. And I remember Sequest DSV. So that, yeah, that was very cool he did that. I uh, worked in a lot of other films and TV. He was in the uh, Tom Hanks movie Splash in 1984. Yeah, he was in the Splash movie with Tom Hanks in 1984. He did the Stir Crazy movie. Uh, I believe that was with uh, Gene Wilder and, and Pryor, I think. Not quite sure. Um, but anyway, so he did that in 85. Then, of course, I do remember that he was in Gettysburg, right, the miniseries. And he was one of the uh, Southern officers in that film uh, miniseries, so TV miniseries. So, yeah, he did a lot of stuff. And uh, Royce was in a lot of westerns that I remember as well. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, he passed away in 2003. Uh, but he did play Bingo, uh, a trucker who was part of the scheme that Maggie Brill, the boss, had cooked up to make it seem like somebody else stole their cargo. But she did her own stealing. And so well, you, you, you guys will all see that later on in the episode. I don't want to give too much away. But she is involved. She is involved in it. You'll find out other people are involved in it as well. And it's really ironic. I mean, watching uh, Cheryl Ladd and uh, Shelley Hat cramped up in a in the in the the sleeper cab of the truck. Well, the story behind that is, of course, it's on the set, so it's not actually in the truck itself. You know, some of those. Uh, exterior shots of their truck that's going down the highway. So, of course, that's in California, right? It's outside of L.A. Because I recognize some of the... Uh, and, and, of course, the uh, diner where they go, that's a truck stop-like area that I recognize from the freeway uh, outside of L.A. So uh, those are some of those exterior shots. But the story behind the sleeper... <laughs> Okay, Cheryl Ladd is a very small young woman at that time. Shelly Hack is a very tall woman. And the way that they were able to fit them in there, <clears throat> which is kind of funny, uh, when Cheryl Ladd is driving in the front there part, looking like she's driving, that's planned because Shelly is so long, so like, you know, tall. So she had to be in the back. And she had to put her feet like all the way down because they had to make it look realistic, right? They had to make it look like an actual 18-wheeler uh, sleeper cab. So she's like back there. Then when they switched and Shelly was driving or pretend driving, uh, it was then it was easy for Cheryl Ladd to just kind of back up and just kind of like, you know. But the space was about yay like this, you know? And then when they fit in this other guy who was like a moonshine or whatever, uh, and he had to be pushed back into the back. Well, that was kind of simple. What they did is they just kind of moved the sleeper cap just slightly. So if you notice, 
if, if you're able to catch uh, the episode, you notice that the cat just seemed like it was pushed back a little bit. It was. Just so they could fit him in there, Shelly and Cheryl. <laughs> it's it's hilarious. I mean, it's just a minor little thing, but if you but if you look at it, it's kind of it, you know, it's like a continuity thing, but it's a very small space. But as I said, they had to make it look real. So, uh, yeah. So that was uh, season four, episode three or two. If you talk to some people uh, of, of Angels Go Trucking. And it was very, very cool episode, by the way. Uh, and I think it was kind of humorous because, you know, they just had, which I'll do sometime uh, in the next few weeks, I'll do that season four opener, which is a two-parter, by the way. So I'll have to do both, uh, part one and then part two, uh, Monday and Wednesday, effectively. Um that one is a cruise ship. It's a thief that they're looking for. And that started, that introduced Shelly to the series. So what it did was it had, uh, the opening was, it had uh, one in Los Angeles that was Kelly, uh, you know, Garrett. The one in San Francisco, of course, that was Chris Monroe. And then the one in Boston which was Shelly Hack. So that was how the intro went there uh, at the beginning of season four. They had to change that around. So Kelly basically is the senior member. As I said, the only two that managed, or three, that managed to last all five seasons were uh, Jacqueline Smith, Kelly Garrett, uh, then David Doyle's Bosley, and then John Forsythe's voice. Uh, as Charlie uh, Townsend, as Charlie Townsend for the detective agency. Those were the only three that I know lasted all five seasons. So uh, that's that's pretty much the review for today. Also, I want to give a shout out to my brother, Philip. Phil, happy 56th birthday to you today. Uh, I know it's a somber uh, day for you. I understand. Uh, it, it did happen 22 years ago, and uh, I think most people do for, tend to forget, you know, because it did happen so long ago, and they just, they don't want to be reminded, but I think they should be, uh, because there's a lot of, there's still a lot of controversy. Sorry, I'm trying to clean the screen here. There we go. Because there is still a lot of controversy about whether or not it was a, a setup job, you know, or... Was it really, you know, a lot, a lot of involvement with uh, terrorist terrorism? So, uh, plus, I did hear about a tragic thing that happened earlier today. Uh, it was in Detroit area. Uh, there was a uh, terrorist that walked into the uh, the front there uh, of a police station, but his gun jammed, and uh, well, unfortunately, he got eradicated. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, things are still going on, you know, every day. Um, lots of violence. It's very sad. Uh, I, I just wish that uh, something was done about it. I really do. But, uh, you know, all we can do is uh, hope and pray, right, that there are solutions out there to this, to the violence. Uh, we do have light, two lights. Thank you. And we got one person watching. I believe that's Levin Pie. So thank you, Levin Pie. Uh, okay. So let you know that uh, there's a couple things going on this week. Uh, we do have another Angels review. Uh, that'll be on Wednesday. Again, that'll be just after 3.30 in the afternoon, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we also have topic time number seven. My buddy here, uh, Lemon Pie, along with my wife, uh, Moon Pie's mom, and Deja Vu's mom, Suzanne. And, of course, I spoke to my one of my brothers last night, Jay Aldridge, who's going through an appointment today. I hope you're doing all right, Jay. Uh, hope to see you on Friday if you can make it. He is one of our panelists that helps us out. 
Uh, we also have wonderful Daniel's Hot Topics. He comes to help us as well. Don't forget, he also has a, uh, once in a while, he does have uh, his streams with Steampunk Star Raisin. So hopefully we'll see Steampunk come by that day also on Friday. Uh, we also have Leah Liz. She's uh, me and Suzanne's best friend. And uh, she's our female panelist on the on the, on the on the group there. So hopefully she comes out this coming Friday. Um, and we also have PVP, who is one of our best friends uh, that lives over in Kelowna, BC, British Columbia. So hopefully he'll be there for us on Friday. We also have Gorilla. Uh, Gorilla's Random Thoughts, and of course, Resolute Journal. Both those gentlemen will be seen them on Friday. So, on Friday the 15th, it'll start at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 7 o'clock Pacific, 8 o'clock Mountain for Pop Culture Curator, our friend there uh, in Arizona, in case he comes by, uh, 9 o'clock for uh, our friend Gorilla, and, and then at 10 o'clock Eastern. So that'll be uh, pretty much a celebration. Uh, my birthday is a week from that day, and we're going to go out on uh, Friday the 22nd, enjoy my 58th birthday. Uh, we're going to have a nice lunch. We're going to go and watch the movie The Expendables 4. And also, I think we're going to go see Nun 2. Yeah, if we can, if Nun 2's out, we'll go see it as well. And then we'll probably eventually uh, we'll go see Equalizer 3 if that comes out on DVD. We'll get that because I want to get all three of them. So they may all come out together, uh, Equalizer 1, 2, and 3. That'd be nice. That'll prob Those three will probably come out in a couple of months. So yeah, I'll make sure to get those for us. So in the meantime, uh, yeah, so I'm celebrating my birthday a week ahead of time for the 15th. So it will be a celebration. Uh, we'll do our random topics like we always do. Uh, and really, what we're going to do from now on then on the 7th, or on the 7th topic time, is just talk about anything, really. Whatever comes to the panelists' mind, whatever they can think of, we're going to just start talking about it, and then we'll just go from there. Um, also, one other thing I wanted to mention, too, uh, Wednesday, after I do the second Charlie's Angels review of the week, I'm also going to pre uh, preview the following week's NFL schedule on two of my favorite teams, uh, the San Francisco 49ers and the Washington C Commanders. Now, from here on out, you're only going to hear me say Commanders once because I really think it's wrong that they took their Redskins name away. Because I, I am a huge friend with many Native Americans. And I don't think it was wrong to call the Washington Redskins the Redskins. Okay? I mean, they had that name for the longest time. Then they decided to get rid of it. Made no sense at all. So this will be the only time you're going to hear me say it one more time. Washington Commanders. From then on, it will just be Washington. I'll just say Washington. That way I won't offend anybody else. Uh, so San Francisco and Washington. So we're going to do that on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday. So we'll do the Charlie's Angels review at three, after 3.30 3 p.m. Eastern, and then we'll do a quick sports review uh, and then an update and tell you which teams they'll be playing and what time on the weekend. And uh, what happened this past weekend is that uh, San Francisco did win a really nice big victory over the Pittsburgh Steelers, 30-7. Uh, to 7. And then the Washington team did beat Arizona, beat the Cardinals 20-16 to 16 in their home opener. So that was very nice. Now, the 49ers won on the road, which I'm sorry, Pittsburgh. I don't know what you did wrong, but, you know, sorry. You know, I mean, my 49ers just came in there and kicked your butt. What can I say? Um, but, yeah, but I'm glad that the uh, Washington team is going to go somewhere this year. I, I have a feeling. I think they're going to do really well. Of course, um, the Cowboys won big on Monday night. Uh, so, Or, I, I'm sorry, won big on Sunday night, Sunday night football. 
over the Giants. So, believe me, that rivalry between Washington and Dallas is going to go big time this year. And then, don't forget the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, they're going to be a pain in the arse, too. <laughs> so, that NFC East is going to be absolutely incredible, as well as the NFC West. So, we'll, we'll see what happens with those uh, teams. And uh, also a shout-out to my, our nephew, Joseph Duran. Uh, good victory over the uh, Broncos with your Las Vegas Raiders, and uh, hopefully they'll keep it going this year too during the season. So Anyway, I'll give it about five more minutes, and I think we'll go ahead and uh, then move on to next Wednesday or this coming Wednesday. So, All right, so we'll have Charlie's Angels review this coming Wednesday. We'll have our new, well, I'll do my new sports segment where I'll represent my two teams and give you a quick rundown on the upcoming games, what's ahead on the schedule uh, for this NFL season, this 2023-24 season. Uh, then Friday will be topic time number seven. Again, that's at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please come and check it out. Uh, I know there are a lot of other streams out there on the YouTube channel and on StreamYard. But believe me, I believe that our channel that my wife and I represent is a lot of fun out there. And my friend PVB says he's always comfortable being there with my chats and, and, and uh, streams. And a lot of other people have said the same. So I'm very happy about that. Also, I did reach last week 100 subscribers. I think I might have lost one or two. I'm not sure, but that's okay. But I was just glad to reach the 100 subscriber mark. So to all those people that subscribe to my channel that enjoy all of my playlists, everything that's on there, thank you so, so much. It means the world to me. Uh, also, don't forget, I'm not monetized, so I don't need to worry about money. And I don't worry about super chats or anything like that. I just, I try to have as much fun as possible. I, I do use a disclaimer, which, uh, you know, when I, because I use a satellite system, I do tend to go in and out when it comes to maybe sometimes the webcam here, but mostly during the live streams. So I promise uh, my panelists know, and my brothers and sisters, they know, uh, they can help me out and, and, and help the stream to continue along till I come back and, you know, whatever happens. So, and Lemon Pie that's here with us today, uh, along with Gorilla, uh, Resolute Germ and my wife are all wonderful moderators. So if you see them in the chat, please say hello to them. Give them all the props. Give them all the kudos you can because they do all that's possible to keep this channel going and to help us uh, get our words out there to the people in uh, YouTube land and, and StreamYard and uh, let them know that, you know, lives matter. All lives matter. We, we take care of ourselves and we take care of other people. We care about everyone. We hope everybody's doing all right out there. Uh, today, as I said, is a very somber, reflection, reflective day. Uh, but hopefully everyone is uh, staying closer to their families today and being close and uh, with their friends and loved ones. So, yes, it's a very trying time. But we'll get through it. We all do. We've, we've done it. Uh, and... Uh, Say a special prayer for all the military uh, people out there, men and women that are serving our armed forces in all of all the countries, not just the U United States and Canada, but everywhere. Uh, think of them. Keep them in your prayers uh, wherever they're serving. And, yeah, I, I guess that's it for today. Uh, I'm sorry it's so short. Um, but Lemon Pie, thank you for coming. I appreciate you being here, my friend and brother. You're you're most important and wonderful. I appreciate that. So with that today, make sure you uh, take care of each other. Oh, thank you, Lemon Pie. You have a good day too, sir. I appreciate that again. You're awesome. Okay, so with that, everybody have a great day. Thank you so much for listening in. Uh, two likes, two people. Thank you so much uh, for listening in. And God bless everyone. Thank you again for coming by. We'll see you Wednesday after 3.30 p.m. Eastern for Charlie's Angels Review number six. Take care, guys.